Today we are giving it our best shot to meal prep for our family of seven. Now we're gonna see what we can make in three hours. Let's get cooking. Hello everybody and welcome back to the High Path channel in the High Path kitchen where we cook all whole food plant-based foods for our family of seven. Now our schedules are typically always packed and groceries are actually getting like really, really expensive if you have not noticed, especially when you're eating plant-based and stuff, everything is tremendously expensive so this week is really just to help cut down uh, a ton of cooking time and just to get everything cooked up so we don't have to you know worry about cooking in the middle of, of homeschooling i am starting here with some soaked lentils we are going to just drain them and rinse them and just start boiling it for our spaghetti sauce when we first started this day we wrote a whole list of items that we wanted to make or just plan to make and we're gonna try to do as much as we can in about three hours. Right here, you can see it's about 11 o'clock, 11.20. We have just started chopping up some vegetables for our sauces. We have carrots and celery chopped up. We also have the lentils already boiled up and drained and ready to go. Now we're just making some a sauce for macaroni and cheese. Uh, I have browned some cauliflower a little bit in a cast iron skillet, and then we're going to add it into a pot to boil alongside with some butternut squash just for some color. We are then going to blend all of these ingredients up for a creamy, delicious, and smooth mac and cheese sauce. Along with these vegetables in a pot, we're also going to add some cashew nuts to boil so that they can soften up. We added about, I would say, maybe one head of cauliflower here, a whole packet of frozen butternut squash, which I believe is about eight ounces, and two cups of cashew nuts. In another pot, we are going to start with boiling our elbow macaroni for mac and cheese. I am trying to make as much things as possible in the same amount of time. So right here in this pot, we are starting off with some mirepoix, which is some onions, carrots, celery. We're going to add some Italian seasoning and we're going to cook that up for a spaghetti sauce. Of course, we are gonna have our kids help out. So here, Grace is going to start with a bread dough. We're going to make a focaccia bread. We have also some sandwich bread lined up and we plan on making some cookies and muffins as well in this meal prep. If you guys are interested, I will have a lot of these recipes down in the description box so you can make them at home as well. Now, I don't know why we stopped using our stand mixer. We've had this for quite a while now, but we just started making things by hand, but I'm so glad that we started using this again. So mac and cheese is one of the items that we wanted to prep for. We also have a few other pasta dishes that I wanted to prep. Now, right here, we have our cooked macaroni, which everyone is just stealing. I have Israel working on the next batch, and then this is the boiled vegetables for our mac and cheese sauce. In this pot, we have started the spaghetti sauce. It really is just a red sauce, which we will use on baked ziti or spaghetti, whatever we choose to make. I think red sauces is one of the most versatile things that you can prep for. You can just make a huge batch, freeze it, and just use it on pasta whenever you want some pasta. So now that the vegetables are done, we're going to pour it into our blend tech. The cauliflower, cashews, butternut squash, all of it, we're gonna put it into the pot. We're not going to use all of the water, so I had Emmanuel ladle out the vegetables, and we are going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard. It's really good in mac and cheese, trust me. We're gonna add salt, apple cider vinegar for some tang, some nutritional yeast, and we're going to just blend this up into a creamy sauce. While we work on that, Israel's gonna work on the next batch of elbow noodles. And I have here all the lentils that we have boiled up and I just added it to our pot for the spaghetti sauce or the red sauce. I am making a bolognese sauce with red lentils and some tomatoes, some crushed tomatoes. We added all of the Italian seasonings and oh my gosh, once this cooks up, it is so good. Now you can add 
some wine if you like to or if you have i find that adding wine to a spaghetti sauce really really kicks up the flavors we have the elbow macaroni in a big mixing bowl and then i just had emmanuel mix in the mac and cheese sauce he is tasting it and once this is mixed we are going to be putting it into some 9 by 13 baking dishes just to store really we're probably not going to bake it we're just going to put them on the trays we can freeze it or put it in the fridge and once we are ready to eat we're just going to warm it up slowly in the oven meanwhile in the background you can see grace working on the bread dough and voila look at this delicious mac and cheese we're adding some extra sauce on the top so it doesn't dry out when we bake it and these are good to go we probably made i would say i believe two 9 by 13 pans and we had enough for lunch for the day as well at this point in time everyone was hungry we are just going to mix up the rest of the mac and cheese and look how creamy the mac and cheese sauce is just by using vegetables and nuts it's crazy just stirring the spaghetti sauce and checking the time. It was about 12 o'clock right now. Everyone is now having lunch. Just whatever that we have left over from the mac and cheese. And we are going to still continue to prep the rest of the mac and cheese in our 9x13s. Moving along, we are prepping the next sauce. So we are going to do a broccoli sauce. I had just purchased some frozen broccoli just for ease. Uh, this is a two pound bag, I believe. We're going to boil this up with uh, just some water and some salt. And you can put some onions in here if you like to. We're gonna make a very simple broccoli pesto for some pasta here. Once the broccoli was done, I'm just going to reuse this same mac and cheese blender. I don't want to wash it just because of all the delicious flavors in there. We're going to add some salt, some nutritional yeast, and some water and some oil and blend it up to this creamy pesto, broccoli pesto. This sauce is so easy. You can seriously add any vegetables you like. You can add some spinach if you like, um, maybe some peas even, some Swiss chard, anything that you like. Sauce is ready. It is time to prep some bread. This is gonna be our focaccia bread. Look at how delicious this bread rose. And we're going to add this in another nine by 13 pan. We're going to do a second rise on this and we're gonna just poke some holes here just to prep it for um, some olive oil and any seasonings we're going to add later on. We're gonna put it in the oven just to proof for about, I would say 30 minutes. Alrighty, this is the pasta that the kids chose for the broccoli pesto. It's like a wheel shape, it's so cute. We have two pounds here, we're going to be boiling in some hot water, and then once it's done, we're just gonna to toss it in the sauce. Meanwhile here, Grace is going to be cooking up another batch of something. <laughs> we are going to be making a pumpkin muffin for breakfast. To start off, we have some coconut oil and some coconut sugar. We're gonna use our handy dandy mixer to mix everything and we are going to then add the flax eggs and we're gonna make a very simple pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice muffin. So the kids can easily grab and go whatever they want or just have it as a snack. All the kids were so helpful when we were meal prepping just because we have extra hands. Um, each person can do different things like Grace was on baking. Um, Mercy here is now doing the muffin tins. It was just, it made everything so efficient. Alrighty, the pasta is ready and the sauce is ready. We're just going to add some frozen peas here. We love our peas. I love our peas. I don't know about the kids, but I make them eat it anyway. We added a little cup of pasta water here and then we're just going to dump the broccoli pesto in here. I also added some onion powder to this mix just to add some extra umami cheesiness. I don't know what it is, but adding onion powder to anything really boosts up the flavor. We're going to mix this up really, really well, add some olive oil if needed or some extra water if needed just to thin it out a little bit. Look at how fun those wheel-shaped pasta are. It's so awesome. So once we have everything mixed up, we are then just going to put it into little 
well, we ran out of the 9 by 13 pan, so we are just going to use whatever leftover we have. I think this is a 9 by 9 baking pan. And we're going to put on our lids and voila, two more preps ready to go. Next, I have Mercy helping me with some sandwich bread. I figured we would try to make some bread and butter. This is gonna be a very fun experiment. We've never made vegan butter before, but it actually turned out really, really good. So here we use the same recipe for our focaccia bread as sandwich bread. Now, looking back, I definitely would have just used this whole batch of dough for one loaf of bread. Splitting it in half, I really thought that we could stretch it, but it didn't turn out very good. So definitely, you know, one batch, one loaf. Grace was done with the muffin batter now, so she is just putting them in small little muffin tins. One other thing I wanted to prep, really this was not a prep anymore, we just made some dinner. Uh, this is going to be a curried shepherd's pie. I figured we would just kind of combine the shepherd's pie and a curry into one. It actually turned out really, really great. So I have here onions, carrots, and celery. I'm going to add some hemp oil, some curry seasonings, fennel seeds, we have coriander, um, all sorts of stuff going in that pot. As you can see, this is after our second rise for the focaccia. I'm just going to poke some more holes. We're gonna drizzle it with some olive oil. Oh, I love this bread. The kids love this bread. It's really, really good with some soup or just by itself. And then once we added the olive oil into all the holes, we're going to season it with some onion powder. You can add some salt, you can add oregano. We ended up just adding some onion powder and some Italian seasonings. You can go as liberally as you want to. This is a great, great, easy, easy bread here. This is the final result before putting it into the oven. We're gonna bake this at 425 for about 25, 30 minutes. This is the list we came up with. We were pretty motivated. We really set out to do a lot today. We figured we're going to make a big goal and we're going to finish as much as we can. And if not, we will just continue tomorrow or whenever we can get to it. So here I am prepping some vegetables for our curry. We have some zucchinis, some cauliflowers going in. Uh, we have some tomatoes for our curry. And now that I've found that we can actually make this as a meal prep, we're actually going to be making this the next time and we can just freeze this or just put them, put it in the fridge for the week coming. I also added some cabbage and some potatoes. The potatoes really just act as a thickener for our curry, so I just added that. And then I also have a whole pot of boiling water on the, le uh, the right side, just for some mashed potatoes for our shepherd's pie. We do make curries a lot and we find that curries are just so warming and versatile. We can put it on some rice, or really not rice, but quinoa. We can serve it by itself with some bread on the side. Now we can, we figured we can make it for some shepherd's pie. So we are always making curry. I also want to try my hand at making curry puffs. I grew up in Southeast Asia. We ate curry puffs all the time. It's a very simple, easy street food to grab and go. That is so, so good. So I'm definitely gonna put that on my list to try one day. The bread is ready to be put in the oven and then the muffins are ready and baked. Look how delicious everything looks so far. Whew, we are so excited. All right, we are going to be putting the focaccia bread in there alongside with our sandwich bread. Now you can see that the sandwich bread, because we split it in half, it didn't rise as much as as we wanted and it's kind of flat and small but that's okay it still served its purpose boom look at these muffins these are our pumpkin muffins pumpkin pie spice muffins whatever you want to call it they are all ready for breakfast i then have mercy work on a chocolate chip recipe just for some snacks while i uh just collapse for a little bit <laughs> just to take a little bit of time off of my feet. Mercy was done with the cookies after I just sat for about five minutes and then I checked on the spaghetti sauce. This is the perfect consistency for any spaghetti or pasta that you want to cook. Once that is done, the bread is also done. So here is one of the very tiny sandwich breads and then our golden brown focaccia. 
I added an extra drizzle of olive oil on the very top. I love some olive oil on some bread and voila, that is done. This is a, an experiment. We are going to make our very first vegan butter at home. So we have some cashews, some coconut oil. We also have a little bit of leftover avocado oil and some a little tiny bit of olive oil. We're going to blend this up and this is gonna be a very weird oil blend, but as soon as it's done, we're going to put it in a butter dish. And this was pure experimental, guys. And it actually turned out really, really great. The coconut oil hardens up in the fridge. Um, we're just gonna put that in the freezer just so we can test it out. And then the kids are going to finish up their batch of chocolate chip cookies. Now I have a recipe for this as well. Um, it is so simple, it's like five ingredients. You should definitely try it. This is probably the final thing that we made today. This is our curried shepherd's pie. And like I said, we were planning on making this for our meal prep, but we ended up eating it for dinner as well because I didn't wanna make something else for dinner separately. So we're gonna use this for dinner. I have our mashed potatoes here. We added some oil, some salt, and we're going to just put our curry on the very bottom of this baking dish. Now you can see it's really not a runny curry. I tried to thicken it up just sort of like a shepherd's pie filling, the way how the filling usually is kind of thick and meaty, right? So. We are then just going to spread the mashed potatoes all over the top. We're going to just make sure that everything is smoothened out and we're going to just decorate or garnish the tops with some paprika. And we will bake this in the oven for tonight. Oh, look at these delicious cookies. We are a whole family of cookie monsters. I'm telling you, they disappear. And here I was so surprised that this butter actually worked. This is uh, me showing Trey what it looks like. <laughs> and I was just so shocked that this actually works. So the butter was nice and spreadable still. It really smells like butter. We were so excited. We had to try it on some bread. So we are just going to slice up our tiny little loaves of bread. Um, it looks kind of sad, I know, but we still fed our family with it. This is pure, delicious spelt bread. Look how spreadable this butter is. Can you see that? And it's like yellowy like butter, and it's like oily and buttery like butter. I had Imaya try a bite. He was the first person to try it, and it looks like <laughs> he was thinking about it. <laughs> I asked him if it tastes like butter. He said, mm-hmm. So it was a win. This is the final spread of our meal prep. We finished at, I would say around 2.30ish, um, and then we went on doing other things, but it really literally kind of just took about um, three hours. We have some mac and cheese, muffins for breakfast, some wheelie pastas, focaccia bread, spaghetti sauce, and cookies, some chocolate chip cookies. These were to die for. And this was what we had for our list. We didn't finish it all, but we definitely accomplished a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this meal prep video. We don't do a lot of meal preps, but we really hope that you love this and subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one.